This is version two of a rhino grasshopper script designed to explore the effect of dead rise and other parameters on the underwater cross-sectional shape of a sailboat hull depicted on the left here in red. The horizontal line at the top is the water line. The parameters that we have to explore are beam, which is we're going to leave at 12 for this demo, draft, dead rise angle, which is the angle of this tangent at the keel, Flare, which is the angle of this tangent at the waterline, and a couple of sliders that determine the length of these tangents and the position of these two control points. The uh, curve, resulting curve, is drawn between these four control points. The initial shape is the, determined by the arc of a circle, which gives us a minimum skin girth, which corresponds to wetted surface area. Cross-sectional area is 36, which corresponds to displacement. And as we explore different shapes, we will make changes to return to this same cross-sectional area. For example, we can set the flare angle to, uh, to 0. And push out the dead rise and flare control points to fill in the corner as much as possible and reduce the draft to get back to our target so we're, we're back at 36 square feet with a very different shape hull skin girth is now 16.63 instead of 15.5 so that's greater wetted surface area. Uh, another extreme would be to go down to uh, six feet and change our dead rise angle to 45. And um, we get 30, we get back to 36. Cross sectional area with a, again, a much greater skin girth uh, compared to 15.5 which we had initially and the shape is not very useful either so let's reduce the draft down to five and we can change our dead rise angle to a more reasonable let's start right there for now uh, flare is nice and full, but um, what else can we do? We can reduce our bend here. That's reducing our surface area, but not quite enough. We can change the flare, which reduces it further, and we're back to 36 with a, with a girth of 15.94. Not bad. Uh, let's drop it down to four and a half, approximately. Um, push our flare back out to the maximum. Um, increase our dead rise angle slightly. Uh, not our angle, rather, but our our effect you see as we, we can stretch it like this so somewhere in here about right there we get another feasible shape the uh, like same cross-sectional area not too bad on the skin girth or wetted surface and uh, that's basically the, the whole deal uh, we can reduce the dead rise angle to to something more that seem may seem more reasonable like I don't know let's try 17 and then uh, we can play with the draft and we can do a few things we can we can reduce our 
by moving this control point, we basically are letting go of the of the tangent earlier, which uh, which affects the shape of the curve. And we and these can be changed at either end, either at the flare end or the uh, or at the uh, dead rise. We also might want to have a little bit of flare, let's say five degrees, because we don't want vertical sides. It's going to continue out at that point. Now uh, we can reduce our dead rise angle further, and then we can reduce our draft just a little further. And there we go, another shape. That's the idea. Part of a programmer's job in writing any software like this is looking for boundary and edge conditions and checking for errors and avoiding them. Some examples of this here are the, the way these sliders uh, are designed to bring the control points no further than where they would intersect, uh, regardless of the changes in angle. Notice too that uh, negative angles on the flare are possible to give tumble home. Um, and uh, we can play around here. There are still some strange things that do happen, but uh, let's try to bring it down to eight and the draft up to eight. And um, look at the possibilities here. Uh, we can reduce the uh, the dead rise back to zero, so it's tangent at the bottom. We can drop this back so it's more V-like, although it's still tangent at the bottom, it's still rounded. Uh, then of course we know about this, and look what happens when you take it all the way, all the way out. The flare. It gives extreme tumble home wrap around.